What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new WWE action figure news and images, man. I swear to God, I am here every single day with this. But it's just the truth, man. I mean, this is just kind of the nature of things around this time of year. There's constantly new images. There's constantly new things coming out. Constantly new leaks. Until SDCC, and then it cools off for a very long time. So, this whole week is probably going to be filled with a lot of news, a lot of images, a lot of up-to-date stuff. So, if you guys do not want to miss out on something, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're bell notification is on so you can pop in here ready for the news every single day but today we're covering what happened yesterday and i would have done the video yesterday but i was out of town and was unable to report on it immediately so today we're back with brand new two brand new ultimate edition figures and their images and then we got some basics that we got to get into and i have a lot to say about a lot of these figures so we're going to dive into that right now let's start off with the brand new ultimate edition series 14 jeff hardy figure now as you guys know i am a big jeff hardy guy i am a massive jeff hardy fan i love Jeff Hardy, one of my favorites of all time. I have mixed feelings about this figure across the board. I love that they went with an early 2000s look. I love the pants here in the white. I love that they gave him the zebra stripe pockets. I mean, this is uh, very nostalgic. This is great. This is epic in a lot of ways. But I feel like it's severely lacking in a lot of ways as well. There's a lot of different inaccuracies about the figure. And it also is just a lot of things. You guys know how Mattel will do. If They've done it multiple times in the past. How they mix and match different eras and different looks from around the same period. That's not something exactly like the Superstar War. They do that a lot of times. I think that's the case here with this Jeff Hardy figure. You do get the nice cloth shirt. It is nice to see a cloth shirt here with our ultimate. We get the necklace. We get two interchangeable head sculpts. I'm not big on the head sculpt. I feel like it looks a bit odd. I don't know what it is entirely if it's the haircut. Now, don't get me wrong. It was a pretty bad haircut at the time anyway, but I don't know. It's not my favorite head sculpt ever. I do love the inclusion of not only the Jeff Hardy signature hands, the mic holding hands that we see with Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy figures, but the inclusion of the Randy Orton posing hands to give you that extra Jeff Hardy charisma right there. So that's pretty cool right there. I like that a lot. I love the white pants base. I'm going to try and track down a lot of these. I don't know how often they're going to be retail and stuff like that, but fix-ups and different things I want to do are running wild in my mind. I like the body paint. Just a lot of other things going on with this figure that, uh, I, I don't know. I, I just don't think it's completely nailed. I do like the figure a lot. I think that the updated torso looks a lot better than the first go-around, which I'm excited about. I think it fits him a lot better. It's not overly jacked. I think it fits pretty proportionate. I love that. That like I, a hu You gotta give a huge credit and huge shout-out to Mattel for even attempting to change that. They could have easily just gave us the AJ Styles and been like, that. you're living with this now. So I, I do appreciate them for doing that. That is really awesome for them to do that. But I like this Ultimate Edition. I really do. I just think that it's maybe lacking something or maybe it needs some paint or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out, but I am a fan of this Jeff Hardy. Now let's dive into this next Ultimate, which is going to be the Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns. When I look at this figure in packaging, I think two things immediately. When I look at the figure, I think, did this come out in 2019? That's just what like it, it, it feels like to me when I look at it in box. It does not look like a brand new figure. It looks like a figure we have seen multiple times over and it's the case because these head sculpts man these head sculpts are ancient at this point. I thought for sure when we were getting an Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns, and I know we saw it on display at WrestleMania, and so that's when I knew that this figure wasn't going to have all the bells and whistles that I really wanted out of an Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns because this head sculpt is from Elite 84, and then that interchangeable head sculpt is from around the same period as well. You do get a brand new screaming head sculpt, which we're going to get into, or a ooh-ah head sculpt, which I do like. I think that's awesome. I love the Bloodline shirt. I love the, the, the lay that that you're getting there. You get the sculpted gauntlet hand. You get the nice red gauntlet. I love that. I like the formula for the Roman Reigns too. The butterfly joints and the Ultimate Edition boots. This is going to probably be the best Roman Reigns. I mean, I don't know. His Elite's pretty damn good. The top picks Roman Reigns is pretty incredible, to be honest with you, with the gold gauntlet. But you do get all these bells and whistles that do come with this figure. I just hate these head sculpts, man. I really do. I, I despise these head sculpts. We've seen these so many times. I was hoping and pleading and praying for a faded beard, faded hair, new head sculpt, new man bun head sculpt. I don't know. I, I really was pleading for that, and it did not happen. One thing I do have to accredit them to is giving him the full shoulder tattoo. They fixed his shoulder, which looks so good. It looks so good. They did a great job on that. I love that the butterfly joints have the tattoos on it. They did a really good job on that part. I really enjoy that. 
This torso is a bit ripped up, you know, it's the Triple H torso, but I can give it a pass, you know, I'm not like dissecting it too, too much. I think that if they wanted more accuracy, they could change the torso, but it's not, you know, super duper crazy or over the top crappy or something like that, but I love the shoulder tattoo. My biggest gripe is literally just the head skulls because I feel like they had a real opportunity here. Now, I do love the screaming one. It does look a bit odd at certain angles and stuff like that. The, ch the jaw and the chin's a bit wide there or long, but it's it's still really good. I do like this figure. I just wish these head sculpts were different, man. I do have custom head sculpts, which I can, of course, pop on there, but I shouldn't have to do that. We need new head sculpts for Roman Reigns. That's literally my biggest gripe with this figure and what we got going on. I do love the figure, though. I think it, it just, God, when I look at this figure mock, it should have a brand new head sculpt on it, and this figure would have been perfection. But that is not the world we live in right now. I'm hoping, I, I think I'm going to do, if you look on the back of the packaging, actually, you can see where the shoulder gap tattoo is actually there, still present on the back of the packaging. So there's that. But on my SDCC wish list, which I may make a video on tomorrow, you guys can let me know if you want to see my wish list for San Diego Comic Con, what I really, really want to see. Ro a new Roman Reigns head sculpt, or, or brand new Roman Reigns heads is what I want to see with the nice faded beard and all the good stuff and the bells and whistles. Now, outside of those two Ultimate Editions, we got some pretty terrible looking basics which we're going to get into, but the bulk of the news was in those Ultimate Editions. Seeing the Jeff Hardy for the very first time, seeing what they had going on, breaking down that, which was huge news, but I gotta get into these basics, man. Starting out first, we do have first time in the line, Indy Hartwell, and she looks like th this head sculpt really, the, I don't really see a lot of Indy Hartwell in this head sculpt. It's not a horrific basic. I mean, all basics are kind of horrific nowadays for the most part, but you know, it, first time in the line, not like a ridiculously terrible basic. She does come with an accessory, which is kind of cool. She has like an entrance vest, which is a, a little neat there, but getting into the head sculpt, I just, I, I don't know. She looks like this girl I went to middle school with in the face. She doesn't really look like Indy Hartwell. It's not like a terrible head sculpt, but I don't know, man. I'm not really feeling that one. We got to get into this Seth Rollins basic, though, because good Christ in heaven. This head sculpt is ancient, man. This head sculpt is ancient. I mean, we had this head sculpt back in Elite 75. Elite 75 Seth, I think, is the first time we saw this head sculpt. And then you had the Elite Fan Takeover. You had the Elite Top Picks. You had multiple basics with this head sculpt. And now we're getting this head sculpt again when this isn't what his hair looked like, man. And this basic suit body is so bulky. Now, I will give them points on doing a creative, colorful basic. Like, I love the suit body. Like, I don't like the suit body. I like the suit. I like the aesthetic of the suit. I think a light blue, white shirt, sick-ass Seth Rollins in this style suit with white loafers is clean as hell. I hate the body mold. Had this been like the unrivaled unmatched series for Cody, I would be all aboard buying 27 of them. You know what I mean? I think that that would be beautiful, but this suit body that we continue to get is way too bulky. It looks off-putting, and then you put this head sculpt on it, and it just makes it worse. It's not even, like, accurate to the time whatsoever. I mean, why not just put the Elite 93 head on there or resize the Elite 93 head? You know what I mean? I think that would have been perfect for this for this basic. The Elite suit bodies are much, much stronger, but they're still lacking. They still don't have that slim look and, an, like, a modern-looking suit look. But, Jesus, I don't know. I may still grab it just to see what it's like, but, good God. They've had the same basic suit body. This is like the Corey Graves from, like, 800 series ago that ruined basics. Next up is Becky Lynch. This figure is ancient again. This figure right here is probably going to rot on shelves. This is a very old looking Becky Lynch. It's not very much going on with it. Head sculpt we've seen since Elite 72. We have Sami Zayn. Now this is a solid Sami Zayn basic. I'm not for, you know, I'm. it's old obviously because it says I'm the Intercontinental Champion. But for this era of Sami Zayn, if you don't have the Elite, you know, it's a great head sculpt. I may buy it just for the head sculpts. Just to get multiples of that Elite head sculpt to put on other Sami Zayns. Not a terrible basic. Not my favorite but not horrific. I've seen much, much worse. And then we have Shelton Benjamin here. You got a gold standard, Hurt Business Shelton Benjamin with the same head sculpt since Elite 63, which was 30 plus series ago. And then you have the Chase variant in the black and bronze, which is actually kind of cool, but they're basics. They have the same head since Elite 63. Had they updated these head sculpts, they'd probably be a very good reason to pick these up to update some Sheltons or make some different Shelton Benjamin Elites. But now, what's the point? You know what I mean? Just, uh, but he does have his tattoo on there. But anyways, man, that is all the images. That is all the images that we have today. Not a ton going on, but I did want to get on here, report on these Ultimate Editions, showcase them to you, see what you guys thought about it. Do you love the Jeff? Do you love the Roman? Are you going to be grabbing any of these? What do you guys think of the suited body? 
body. Am I correct or are you? What do you guys think? Let me know down below. I just don't like those suited bodies. The articulation's terrible. They look way too bulky. It's just I, I've been begging Mattel for a slim suit body forever. But before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout out. And for today's random shout out, it's actually going to go to Landry Tabor or Landry Tabor. I'm pretty sure it's Tabor, but. He said, I knew before the video started, Zelina, Cody, and Ciampa would be in the set because when Comic-Con happens, they're the three wrestlers who will be a part of hosting it. And that's actually true. Ringside posted that up. They will be a part of the panel. And if that doesn't confirm them for, for Elite Series 99, I don't know what to tell you because they're going to be going through the figures, breaking down the figures, analyzing everything, and then they are going to be like, well, Elite 99, and boom, show all three of them. So I think that is absolutely the case. They'll show that off, and maybe they'll break us Elite Series 100 there on the panel. So hopefully that will be the case. I would love to see that. That would be incredible. But uh, that was a great point. That's why I pinned it on our last video because I think that will be true. If you guys missed out on our Elite Series 99 leaked out video yesterday, definitely go check it out to find out what Elite Series 99 is. But I'm getting out of here, guys. Huge shout-out to Landry for the comment. Thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day. I'll see you guys next time. I, I'm so giddy for Comic-Con. We're right here, man. We're right here. Almost there. Love you guys. Stay, stay safe and have a blessed one. You crossed the line. I've been